Hello, and welcome to the Operational Support and Analysis course based on IDLE 2011. My name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove, and I'll be your instructor. This course is building on the concepts that we covered in the IDLE Foundation course, specifically around the support activities. If you've had the service operation course, you'll find that there's a bit of a crossover or carryover, repetition, but in the capability courses, we spend a great deal more time going into some depth and detail around process activities. So this is where you wanna be to learn how to roll out and manage that process. This covers the capability aspects of service operation and will enable the candidate to apply those practices and techniques. This includes the service operation principles, activities, and technology considerations. We'll also provide an overview of those service operation process and functions. We're going to consider the interfaces between the service operation and the other idle life cycle stages. Uh, continuing with the objectives, um, we're going to look at and describe the value to the business of the OSA activities, as well as how the OSA activities support the service life cycle and how we can go about optimizing service performance. We'll look at the interaction of the OSA processes and the other life cycle processes and how to use the operational support and analysis processes, activities, and functions to achieve operational success. Finally, we'll look at how to measure OSA. Additional objectives, we'll look at the importance of IT security and its contributions to operational support and analysis. We'll look at the technology and implementation considerations surrounding OSA, the challenges, critical success factors, and risks associated with OSA, and then we'll have specific emphasis on the service operation processes and their roles. Role questions are quite important. We'll look at the operational activities of processes in other life cycle stages and how they affect service operation. And lastly, how do we organize for service operations, specifically the roles and functions within service operations, mainly the service desk, technical management, IT operations management, and application management. Okay, the prerequisites here, relatively simple. You need to have the IDLE Foundation Certificate. Uh, you can get that in one of two ways. One, you could have directly taken the foundation exam in either the 2007 or the 2011 version, or if you're an old timer in, in IDLE, you could have had the V1 or V2 Foundation Certificate plus that bridge exam that was available early on in the 2007 version. This will allow you to take the course and sit the exam. It's strongly recommended that the candidates read the service lifecycle publications and specifically the service operation publication. This course is quite robust, but there is definitely more information in the service operation publication than what's required by the syllabus it will benefit you not only in your operational activities in your organization, but it will also provide greater and further depth and context for this course. Before we can go any further, we have to take care of some legal things and uh, apologies up front. Uh, because they are legal requirements, I must read them word for word. So bear with me for a couple of minutes while we get through this, and then we'll continue on. Um, the registered trademarks and copyrights, please note that all graphics and charts seen in this video are the property of Axelos Limited. IDLE is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited. The IT Infrastructure Library is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited. The Swirl logo is a trademark of Axelos Limited. And finally, Axelos is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited. Okay, we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at what we'll be discussing as we go through uh, this video series. First of all, we'll be looking at some uh, exam tips, mainly around the format and context of that exam. As we assign sample exam questions, we'll be giving you or teaching you a technique to apply in helping you solve uh, exam questions. So that will come along in further modules. 
We'll start out looking at service management as a practice, again, having a high level review of those key concepts that we've learned in the foundation class and making sure that we're all starting at the same place uh, as we dive into the information for OSA. We'll have a good look at all the functions and then the service desk specifically, followed by the processes of request fulfillment, access management, event management, problem management, and then we'll conclude with some information around technology within service management. The curriculum path, this should be familiar, this diagram to you. Um, obviously, it says we start at the foundation. It's a required course to get to any of the intermediates. The next required course is MALC or managing across the life cycle uh, if you want to get to that idle expert. The idle expert requires that you have 22 credits. The managing across the life cycle and the foundation provides seven of those credits. So between the life cycle and the capability course, you need another 15. The life cycle courses are worth three and the capability courses are worth four. Uh, information around the idle master. Uh, this can be, it can be applied in one of two ways, but it's really here to demonstrate I'm going to say lifelong or continued success uh, and expertise in service management. If you want more information around the Idol Master, I encourage you to go to the official website, which is www.idol-officialsite.com. We'll give you that URL again as we continue through this video series. Materials to download to help you um, work within this course and to help your efforts as you study and prepare for the exam. There is a student guide that you can download. It has a copy of all of the slides that you'll see in the videos. There's also an exercise guide that has the exercises that will be assigned as well as suggested answers. There's a training plan document. And then most importantly, the two sample, official sample papers from Axelos for the OSA course. Realize that the sample papers come in three parts. That you have a scenario document, you then have a question document, and then the final document is the answers and justifications. Um, there is the, also a copy of the Axelos course syllabus. You may think, oh, why do I need the syllabus? Well, Quite frankly, there's a key element in there, and that is the word list. There is required terms, and it's rather robust, that you are expected to know and knowing the idle definition. So I encourage you to get that syllabus, and then if you aren't sure exactly what that idle definition is, go to the official website, again, www.idle-officialsite.com, and on the left-hand side of the home page, you'll see a link to the glossaries. Click the link, agree to all of the IP statements that you see, and then you'll be brought to a page where you can download the 2011 glossary in the language of your, of your choice. Make sure that you get the 2011 and not the 2007 version. Lastly, there is some exam information for you in terms of how to go about uh, uh, signing up for the exam. That takes care of the administrative things that we need to discuss. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So let's go ahead and get started.